Boys, college football is back. College Football 25 is dropping in a little over a month. Last week, I was invited down to EA with a bunch of other content creators to play it for the first time. Let's talk about it. And Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these no guys? Weekend, super bummer, dude. Yes, boys, I was down in Orlando with a bunch of other writers, players, content creators that were given the opportunity to play College Football 25 for the first time. They gave me this cool locker right here. I am a Buckeyes fan, mostly because I live in Ohio now. My son was born in Columbus. You guys know him from Philly. Philly's not the biggest college sports town for basketball, yeah, but for football, Penn State. But Penn State's in the middle of Pennsylvania. I didn't go to college, so for me, uh, not the biggest college fan, but I moved to Columbus. My son was born in Columbus, so I adopted the Buckeyes. Go Buckeyes. But, yeah, let's talk about college football 25, man. If you guys want any questions, I'm sure I'll be talking about it once this embargo drops on my Twitch channel. That link is below. All the social media is everything. Anything you need to know, leave in the comments. Check in on the live streams. Ask your questions, man. I'll try to answer as much as I can. I played for probably four hours. The first game I played, as I preface this, the first game was actually Air Force, and I went on high has been the hardest difficulty in the Ohio State to see, dude, what's this road? What's the home, you know, home field advantage like? Is it going to be amazing? Is it going to be unstoppable? Uh, is it going to be tough to play? So that's what I did. First game, Air Force, they were the lowest rated team in the game, took them into Ohio State. So I got a good vibe for what it's like to be an underdog. What it's like to play against the computer on the hardest mode. What's it like to be on the road, man. And then also, if you guys don't know, if this is the first time checking out the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I want to hit 80K before this game drops. I am a Madden champion, so I play these football games at the highest level possible, or at least try to. That's my goal. I did go ahead and, and play with the Air Force guys. I didn't know they were another running, uh, you know, triple option team like Army and Navy. But the first thing we'll talk about is abilities, man. It's a big question. Are they going to translate are they going to be in college football? And yes, they are. A little bit different. They're not 100% guaranteed, man. That doesn't mean you're going to knock the ball out every single time in man coverage. You're not going to have deep zone knockout that knocks it out 100% of the time. You're not going to get 100% accuracy on your passes, 100% perfect juke on a person, 100% secure tackler. They're a little bit different. And also, there are different abilities as far as mental abilities and physical abilities. Each player can have up to three mental abilities and five physical abilities. So take that for what it's worth, and I'll talk about the mental abilities and the physical ones. But if abilities aren't going to be 100%, what are they in the game for? The whole point of the abilities was to remove RNG from the game. RNG made the game a lot. It brought the skill gap a little tighter. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, if you're going to get lucky, you're not going to get lucky if the ball's going to get knocked out, if they're going to catch it, if you're going to fumble, if you're going to break a tackle, a uh, bunch of different things. If you're going to hold a block better, if you're going to block shed better, if you're going to play zone, man, anything better, that's why you applied the abilities where you wanted them. Now, if it's not going to be 100% guaranteed, a little more RNG, which sometimes I think is more fun to watch, more fun to play, more unpredictable, makes it a little bit better experience, but that's all opinion-based. Uh, as a super competitive guy, I liked the 100% things because I knew if I, you know, I put a flat zone in that spot, he wasn't going to let anybody catch the ball over there. So, uh, but we'll see how it works with these abilities. Essentially, I feel like they're tuned down a little bit. Now, the mental abilities come down to can you deal being on the road? Can you deal with the crowd? Can you make your hot routes faster? Uh, can you see the defense, which is another negative that I saw. Uh, some of the quarterbacks were able to see blitzers. They were able to see, like, almost like Omaha, almost like threat detector every single play. Not third down and fourth down. I, I ran a lot of dime DB blitz with the man coverage. And uh, the, the quarterback would see the blitz two seconds before the snap. Right when you get to the line, two seconds, and he'll see the blitzers have, you know, exclamation points above their head. And for me, anything that shows play art on the field, is that's a bad idea. You know, it really is. But it's in the game, and I think there's ways to counter it as well. Uh, from the defensive standpoint as well with different defensive abilities, mental abilities with the defenders. So there's a bunch that you gotta find as you gotta find out as we get the game. But like I said, five physical abilities, jukebox, secure tackler, zone coverage, they're all different names, so they feel newer. The uh the HUD or how they present it on the field is a lot different. In fact, the players don't even have stars or anything down around their feet. So you'd be surprised. You think that guy's, you know, he's getting guarded by a bronze card. All of a sudden, it's the Darrell Revis of college football, and he picks you off. 
happened to me against Michigan later in the day. Uh, yeah, so that's one thing you got to get used to, man. Um, but also the way to see abilities on the field and like zoom out and see everybody with abilities, a lot cleaner, a lot easier to do than it is in Madden now. So they definitely improved that uh, from the ability standpoint. Definitely, man. So I think it's going to be a positive. Abilities aren't 100%. And, uh, you know, there's not as many. I think I would say there's just as many, especially with the mental and, and physical different sets of abilities. But I don't think they're going to be as powerful and as prominent as they've been as they've been in Madden the last couple of years. All right, boys, the wear and tear system. One of the new things they put in NCAA. You can't run your your five nine, 180 pound running back juking all over the place in the line anymore. He's going to get hurt. He's going to get hit, and you know that hit on his shoulder in the second quarter. That's going to maybe make him a little bit slower going down the line. I mean, if he gets cut sticked and he gets his knees taken out. He, maybe he's going to lose two points of speed the rest of the drive. Maybe he's going to lose some trucking if he doesn't have that power behind, you know, lowering the shoulder. So that's what happens. And essentially, they'll show a player model above your play call screen. And you'll see, like, a red torso. Oh, I just got, you know, a helmet to my ribs. My quarterback now is down 10 throw power because he's hurt a little bit right now. Now, I, I believe eventually throughout the drive, they'll heal up a little bit depending on the injury. And you also have this guy is at a high risk to get hurt. You know, if if you know if you keep running and keep trying to truck stick and your guy's shoulder is red, he might get hurt. He might separate his shoulder and things like that. Essentially, it's like health for your players or HP for your players. Like if you're playing a fighting game, oh my dude is my dude is on E. He's like, you know, 10 HP. Maybe I shouldn't try to juke with him and things like that. You have to be real more cognizant of your player's health. Than you have in Madden. Madden is, oh, he's a little bit yellow. Oh, that's okay. Or maybe he's red. Maybe let's sit him out of play. That's it. A lot more detailed with the wear and tear system goes throughout the game. I, I don't sure if it really works throughout a whole dynasty or things like that. Uh, we'll have to see how it's simplified or how it's implied in the other uh, game modes and how it transfers over. But all in all, I think it's going to be a good addition and really stop people from cheesing when that new Lamar Jackson drops. In college football, man, they won't be just rolling out every single play. He's going to have to catch his breath every once in a while and make sure his knees are fresh for that big fourth down later in the game. So the wear and tear system is something new, and it's in college football, so we got to find a way to use it or find a way to pay attention to it and maybe start you know, going after our, our opponent's knees, especially if we see they're hurt kicking. I told you guys I played the game for probably four hours. About at least a half hour of it was in practice mode. Uh, challenging my friends to, if they can make a 45-yard field goal or a 50-yard field goal. Kicking is that hard. And not only is the new kick meter a little tougher, uh, the level of kicker that you're kicking with, I mean, they're not, you know, Adam Vinceri or Justin Tucker. So it's tougher to make, especially on the road. What happens is there's a little, there's a meter that goes left to right for your accuracy, right? And you got to stop it in the middle. And it goes fast, especially if you have a bad kicker. Further the distance, the faster it goes. Once you hit your accuracy, then you got to hit your power. It goes boom, boom, stop it, and then it go up, and you click. And if you hit it too high, too hard, they'll overkick, and then their accuracy becomes weaker as well. So it's definitely tough. Just put it that way, man. I probably went in practice mode 50 plus yard field goals. I was probably 10% max. So I'm sure it's something after a few days we'll get down perfectly. But for now, it definitely was tough to make some field goals especially on the road, especially with an inexperienced kicker. Now, I say all this to say EA is probably going to drop the Sebastian Janikowski Elite Limited day four, and it's going to cost a million bucks, and it's going to have a, a kicker ability. So another benefit of playing rags, another benefit of playing Dynasty Mode, you don't got to worry about the kicker abilities, which I think are terrible for football games. But I love the way the kicking is right now in this game. Makes it tough. People won't be able to instantly go down the field and get three points with a minute left in the game, uh, especially with college where, where the clock stops at a first down. It's going to be hard to stop two-minute drills, but with the kicker, it's going to make it tough, going to make games more entertaining to watch. Them last-second field goals, absolute nightmare. So big W for the kicking meter and changing it up this year for both football games. Route stems. This is probably this is going to be kind of an offensive section, and we'll talk about the defense as well. Probably the most exciting thing I've been as far as like offense, the things they put in offense since maybe Hot Route Master. But route stems, we'll talk about route stems. I'll talk about there. I mentioned Hot Route Master. There is no Hot Route Master because everybody has corner routes and post routes. They took out the fade route, which was up on the right stick, and they took out whip routes. 
So you can't have whip routes, which were pretty good. So hopefully they come back in some facet. But you now you get a corner route and you get a post route, which what we've been asking for for a long time. The hot route master should be default, and it is in college football 25. That's a huge deal. And then I'll also talk about the biggest difference from playing Madden 24 to going to college football, the jukes. The jukes are different. We don't have that super overpowered juke. Honestly, it was hard for me to find the move that I liked in the little bit of time that I played. Wasn't feeling the jukes too much, but I'm sure I'll find something that really works in the open field. I did feel like spin was a lot better and will be probably the prominent ball carrier move early. Uh, and at the end of the day, the biggest one of the biggest differences was the jukes, but the left stick is a lot more responsive. Uh, it feels a lot more like Madden 20. Uh, as far as like left, right, you can just left, right, stop and go, things like that. Way more fun in the open field with the left stick. As far as the moves, I wasn't feeling them in the four hours I played, but I'll get used to it and find the best ones. And I did notice every player was a little bit different, which is a bonus. Now I feel like every player does the same juke for the most part. Now, uh, this game was a lot different for sure. Spin move will be, will be uh, the best move in the open field, along with just left stick, left, right, back, forth. Really responsive. The game is really smooth, really fast. I like that about it. But let's talk about route stems. I'll show you guys right now what route stems are. The stem of a route, as we see here, we got Curtis Samuel over here on this sharp corner route. What you can do in college football 25, take this route, and you can make it anywhere you want on the field. I know, I know we've talked about smart routing before. Everybody knows about smart route and things like that. Now you can change the route stems. This egregiously where this can now just be like this straight out with no stem or it can be a 80 yard stem right now. It's probably a 10. It can be a 15. It can be a 20. It can be a 40, whatever you want. That's for all routes, a C route, a corner route, post route, hitch routes. You can now put them at any depth on the field at any time. That is what route stem adjustments look like. Now, it was tough to do playing head-to-head -head because, you know, your person's looking at what you're doing. But once you play online, man, and you're able to move those route stems wherever you want, it's going to be one of the most overpowering things they've added to offense in a long time. It's going to bring back creativity. It's going to bring other formations other than bunch and tight, make them a lot better. Now our C routes can be shorter. Now our deep posts can actually go across the middle of the field where we can throw them against zone. A lot of endless possibilities with these route stem adjustments, man. It is a big deal, and it just helps so many playbooks. Uh, like I said, I probably played about three, four games. Uh, the playbooks I used were Air Force, which was triple option. I used, then I used USC playbook. I thought they were a passing team. Pretty standard trips, wide, you know, trips, you know, the stuff in Madden that's 90% is useless, honestly. I was just going to put that there. Like 90% of the plays in, in that I ran so far in those four hours were useless, just like they are in Madden, I think. Uh, it's going to take a while to find the meta, 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 especially with 134 teams, 134 playbooks. That's that's going to be tough to find the best, but we'll do it, boys. But, uh, yeah, so that's why I noticed. didn't notice nothing special about the playbooks. Defense. As always, man, if you guys played uh, NCAA 14, you know defense is way more creative in college football, way more defensive formations, multiple 3-3-5 three, three, sets that were just, you know, tough to, to find and really unique formations. So I'm excited about it. So speaking of defense, let's talk more about defense and the biggest addition to defense probably since quick adjustments. When I think about defensive additions to Madden uh, or college football or NCAA. Um, the hit stick got to be the best. And then quick adjustments has to be the next. And the switch stick, what I'm talking about now, is probably up there. What the switch stick allows you to do uh, for the first time ever will be able to switch to any player on the field in the middle of the play on defense. Think about that. So if you get quick snapped on a D lineman, you can then switch onto a safety to get back in coverage. Uh, if you see a corner route coming on the, you know, the outside corner, you can switch that outside corner. If you see a cover three bomb, you can now switch to the deep safety in the middle of the field to stop the cover three bomb. We've never had something like that. It's going to change the way defense is played. It's going to change the way offense has to be approached. 
Uh, and I played a couple guys that worked on the game and they knew how to use this feature really well. And I'll tell you, man, you put a corner out in a streak and you're ready to throw that corner out and they click on the corner before you throw and he's right there. Yeah, it's a really big time defensive addition to the game. It is, it's groundbreaking. It's, dude, it's, it's awesome, man. I'm going to get used to using it a little bit more. Uh, pick what coverages you want to use it out of best. Uh, but I think the switch stick is going to be just revolutionary for defensive players, for guys that want to stop the corner route spammers, the deep crossers, everything. They'll be able to do that uh, with just one flick of the stick, and you'll be on what player you want to be on to be able to stop those deep routes down the field, stop the scrambling quarterback, stop the corner route cheese. I mean, it, it it's going to make everything absolutely stoppable whenever you want during any play. So it, it, it's, like I said, you just, once the ball is snapped, you just flick the right stick. If you want to be on the corner on the right, flick it to the right. You want to be on a deep safety, just flick up. You want to be on the left safety, flick left. And, uh, you know, it's camera relative. If you want to be on, you know, the, the you know, the flat zone or the, you know, the double Mabel middle zone would probably be on a different angle. But like I said, I haven't used it that much, but I did and learned and I played against it, which was even more eye opening is the switch stick. The last thing I want to talk about on defense is the removal of the baseline is essentially out of the game from what I've realized now. But what they, they put in place of baseline, when you first said that, why would you get rid of baseline? It's been Madden forever. It's the best way to disguise your defense. They made it better this year. They made disguising defense so much better this year. And what you can do instead of just baseline, you can choose what alignment you want, what coverage shell you want to kind of portray to the offense. You know, if you want your cover four to look like cover two, all you have to do is, is just slide it over and go cover two, boom. And everything will look like cover two. Me, as play, I've played Madden for 20 plus years. I know what cover two looks like on the field. I know that the corners line up five yards off the ball. If it's cover four or cover three, they'll be 10 yards off the ball. That's one of the biggest tells that, you know, I have that other people don't. Now, that doesn't matter because everything can look like cover two. Everything can look like cover four. Everything can look like zero coverage if you want to. All you have to do is change the adjustment at the play call screen, the coverage shell you want to portray or show the opposition. Even though you're in cover zero, let's make it look like cover four. That is the way they adjust baseline, which I think is so much better. It looks so much cooler. It looks like more of a football game. It looks more real. I guess. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I would go watch some of the, the writers play each other and how they played the game. And I was like, this looks so much better than just baseline 6-1 or baseline dollar. It just, just looks dumb uh, from like a football standpoint. But with this new coverage shell adjustment, the games look so much better. Uh, coverage is, is going to be better. Defense between the coverage shell you can bluff your opponent to the switch stick this this game this year ea sports really put on for for football games i said there are some negatives i didn't like you know but all in all man the defense defense got major improvements all over, overall in the landscape of gaming not just one particular thing or one small thing these are major major changes to the way defense is played in football video games it really is so Super excited about that, how people use not only the covered shells, but the switch stick to stop these route stems. So offense gets a big weapon with the route stems, but defense gets two huge weapons. It's going to make it even tougher to play offense against some of the best defensive players, man. So all in all, man, I was super grateful to be able to go down there to EA, check out uh, some of my peers, hang out with them for the week and check out college football 25 man i'm super excited for it it's going to just have a, a football season is here that's just is what it is i mean the madden beta is going to come out soon i don't know if there's going to be a college football beta i don't know but i'm sure you guys are excited about it let me know if you're going to get this game i will tell you man if you're a football fan anything college football is going to be awesome and and one of the biggest reasons why college football is going to be enjoyed all year for some people after that first month, a lot of the sweats, a lot of the, you know, the comp players are going to go to Madden because Madden has the huge MCS, the huge prize pool, all that stuff. So the people that are going to stay on college football might be more sim, less cheesers, you know, less sweat. So you're going to maybe have a more relaxed, better time on college football. 
Plus, the dynasties are going to be rolling. The road to glory is going to be rolling. More info about all that stuff coming out soon. All the new competitive game modes they've put into college football. It absolutely seems like it's going to be just revolutionary to sports gaming. Uh, like I said, but you know how a football game is. The first week, it's amazing. Then everybody learns how to stretch RPO, and it sucks instantly. We start throwing picks. We start getting mad. So you got to take everything for a grain of salt, but the first... The first couple of hours of playing this game, it's awesome. Showed you guys, talked to you guys about all the new features, every little one that I liked, every little feature that I uh, enjoyed or learned, knew about, and I'm still learning. Like I said I only played for a couple hours. Uh, didn't exactly play super comp or anything crazy. So uh, just trying to learn the game, trying to explain it to you guys the best I can, man. Like I said, if you have any questions, Put them in the put them in the comments, man. Check out my live Twitch stream. I'm sure we'll be talking more about college football now that I can talk about the gameplay 100%. Cause it was pretty dope, boys.